Hello, kids. Welcome to another Sunday rope climbing story time. Special guest, Will Callahan. Where are you from? From Zanesville, Ohio. Zanesville, Ohio. That's like hour up the road. Yep. yep All right. Much. Hour up the river. So, Will watched last week's uh, rope climbing video, did some rope climbing himself, so we brought him here to uh, give us some lessons. <laughs> so, you be my guest. All right. All right. Ooh, my hands are slipping. <laughs> oh my. Woo. Hand slip on that one. Monkey can climb. <laughs> Holy smoke. I don't know. That was farther than I did, and it's my rope. <laughs> I think my sweater's too heavy. Give me a second. So, any particular arm wrestling story you want to talk about while we're climbing rope? Uh, what we got? How about, um, what was your first time arm wrestling? Ever. Good choice. We'll talk about Ron Bath. So, I had met Ron Bath. I moved to South Carolina in 2000 and met Ron Bath like 2001 at one of the get a grip tournaments in North Carolina. <laughs> and he was like the first, your turn. He was like the first world champion, world elite arm wrestler I'd ever met. And uh, he was beat me handily, top rolling me. Taking my hand and flipping oh. it backwards. <laughs> uh, so, at about 2003, uh. I made it a goal to beat Ron Bath. That was one of the thresholds I wanted to walk through. And uh, Chad Silvers was coaching me at the time, and, and I told Ron that. In like 2003 that I was coming after him, but I was three years into the sport then. <laughs> so he was nice. He had come to these tournaments. Him and his family would sit next to me and my family. And I'd usually make the final four, sometimes the finals against him and lose all the time. Uh, but in 2003, I took second to him at the nationals and he actually gave me his, uh, his first place gym bag which I still have. I'll, show, I'll add a picture of that later. So in 2003, I was chasing him. <sighs> That's a tough rope. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's slippery when you're heavy. <laughs> so. Oh, let's see. First time I beat him. 2007, Fort, Fort Walton Beach. is a Gary Roberts Arm TV tournament. Now, I had beat Dave Randall like a couple of years before. And then Dave Randall had come up and practiced with us and just beat the daylights out of me in practice. And, uh, but like I said, I kept getting beat by Ron. He just kept top rolling me and turning me under like that. So... So I've been chasing him four years and I had a plan. I was going to stop trying to stop that top roll. So when we met up at that tournament, Ron sets up and I know he's going outside and I go, I go outside too. I go, I butterfly all, all the way out and cap on top of him and uh, grabbed a hold of those, <laughs> those fingers. And I had enough on those fingers, I could pull him over. Drive. And Ron was like, like in shock. And what was happened was Ron was so popular. Man, he was such a nice guy. He's like Captain America. So whenever Ron's up at the table, everybody's cheering. And this, this tournament was in this really cool bar. It was like in the panhandle part of Florida. So the bar just walked right out onto the beach and the sand was white. 
Oh. I mean, it was like salt like or real, sugar okay. or something. It was okay. just, it was such a cool place to have a tournament. But every time Ron's up, everybody's screaming. <laughs> Ron, Ron, Ron. <laughs> when, when I won, you only heard Gabriel Hutchings screaming. <laughs> <laughs> You heard he was let's see. He was like nine years old, all right? So <laughs> three hundred people are screaming for Ron, all of a sudden, Yay Dad <laughs> Took off the crowd favorite. Yeah. Uh, then I had to pull Dave Randall and Dave Randall just came in with that shoulder press. I couldn't I couldn't knock him out of line, but he was he had practiced with us enough time. But <sighs> After that, in 2007, when I'd snuck that one by Ron, he, uh, he started practicing us with us in South Carolina. Then I got a lot more time with him, because then we started going to the Mohegan Sun Tournament, okay. the PAC was on, chasing Ron was fun, because this was also the time they were filming Pulling John. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I had... When Seven Matosian first came out hyping the Pull and John movie during the filming of it, he had a list of like 12 arm wrestlers that were like specially featured on the website. There wasn't Facebook or anything. And a lot of those uh, arm wrestlers was, Ron was one, Marcy was one, RJ Molinaire from Swamp People. You guys watch that show, RJ Molinaire was one of the featured ones. Of course John was, Chad Silvers was. I think Mike Celieris was. But he was adding a new featured person like every couple of months. And there was one spot left. And uh, towards, you know, before this 2007. And I was, I was campaigning hard for it. Right. You know. Right. And uh, <laughs> when they announced the last person, and it was a good friend of mine. At the, well, it turned out to be a good friend of mine. It was Kevin Bongart. Kevin Bongart was the last pitcher they added up. So I, t I emailed Seven. I go... That does it. I'm going to beat every one of those men. <laughs> so I screenshotted that. And as I'd beat those people, I would put a circle with a red line through it. You know? That's hilarious. You know? Yeah. But I didn't beat Vavoda was one. I obviously, I never pulled Vavoda. But as I was putting the circles with the line through it, when it came to Chad, who was my coach, I put a little gold halo on his picture. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's cool. <sighs> So that was first time. So anyways, so me and Ron became really good friends. Man, man, I liked him. He was just so polite. Um, what? <laughs> I've not had the opportunity to meet Ron, but he, but he seems like a really quality fella. Oh, he's from, awesome. From what I've heard. But, so as I learned with Dave Randall, and later with John Brzee, beating those big guys, those elite people once doesn't really matter because you can sometimes slip one past the goalie and it don't count if they, you know, if you you sneak a win on somebody, they come back and beat you the next 12 times. Right. You didn't really beat them. Right. So my rematch with Ron, oh, <laughs> so I already said, I, when I beat Dave Randall, I forgot what I, I think I got like, Three hundred dollars. <laughs> Beating Ron Bath paid four hundred and seventy-five dollars. I paid all my own That's expenses hilarious. down there. <laughs> the prize money in <laughs> second place was four seventy-five. Um, so maybe break even. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, arm wrestling was was rough back then. So the rematch with Ron was probably a year later. I can't remember the year. And I cannot remember the place. It was in Florida, and I think it started with Saint. I think it was Saint Augustine or Saint something else. Saint with an F, maybe. But it was a real tiny tournament. It was on. It was like in a marina, and it ran late. I think they had amateurs and kids classes. So it ended up me and Ron uh, hit. Um, we first met in the final four, I should stay, I think around 10.30 at night. Now we'd probably started oh pulling at noon. It got oh late, boy. yeah. My okay. little kids, 
Oh, and their mom God. went back to the hotel. Ron's family left. And uh, on that first match, Ron was top rolling again. So he top rolled out, but I was able to catch just enough there. And when Ron top rolls, he kind of opened up. Okay. And I was able to pull that back. So I go, man, I might do this again. But we didn't meet up again until, because I think they ran women's and left. So I think it was like after one. So by then we had all just had it. I mean, there's yeah. just, there's very few Holy people God. sticking around. Yeah. I'm at a table and I'm drinking a pitcher of beer by myself. And I'm not drinking it this way. <laughs> I'm hillbilly Florida <laughs> drinking it right out of the pitcher. <laughs> Ron's also drinking a pitcher of beer. He's got like half a dozen people still hanging out with him. And I've got like zero at my table. <laughs> 13 hours in. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and rough. so we meet up again. And it was, we were fighting for the grip, fighting for the grip. And the th same thing happened. Ron hit go, top rolled it way out. But I, was, I got him really low and I was way out of position. And I held and I held and Ron kept opening up, kept opening up. And then it slowly came back and I won that match. So. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Because you dude. So first prize was <laughs> you got to go to the prize table and pick out a prize. It's like. Like white elephant arm wrestling Christmas. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and since we were like last, right. amateurs went, women went. <laughs> Most of the good prizes were gone. So I'm looking at the prize table and there's like beer cozies and seashells and a towel that says life's a beach. <laughs> and a, maybe a folding chair. <laughs> and I go, I think you guys need this stuff more than I do. <laughs> I don't need it, Ron. Ron, Ron, you can you can have my turn. You can take them all. <laughs> Put that in your trophy case. Put Ron, that goes, Ron goes. I think I'll have another beer. <laughs> hey, Thirteen hours in, all that time. Yeah. I'm gonna take this chair. <laughs> <sighs> but since then, that must have been two thousand. Eight or nine, I can't remember. Saint, it wasn't Saint Augustine. There's another Saint. I don't. I have to look it up. But there's, I can't find any video of it. Of course, there's so few people there, and RMTV wasn't oh, there. Right, sure, yeah. And you know, before everybody had cell everybody phones. Has, yeah, yeah, that makes. Sense. I can't. I've I've looked and looked and looked. I'm sure someone's got some out there. Yeah. If you have it, post it. Some tournament in Florida where eight people were sticking around in the finals. <laughs> but Ron Bath and I was there. Oh, that's great. All that's right. Hilarious. Here we go. Almost all the way. To, oh, can you do this? Have you tried this yet? I've not tried that yet. I can't even climb it forwards. I'm not going to try it. I tried it last week. I don't even think I could lift myself off the ground. <laughs> I can, but if I let go, I'm falling. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I need gecko fingers, Slippery. man. Right. Oh, order a shirt from Neil. Order your Toddzilla shirt from. Evidently, it doesn't help you climb ropes. <laughs> it's that's because this shirt weighs seventy-five pounds. Otherwise, I'd go right up that rope like Batman. Where do you find those shirts at? There will be a link in the description. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll do another video with you today, boy. <laughs> I can. I, I can try to sell stuff. Right. Say goodbye, Jogan. Bye. Tell them to call the mom. Tell them to call the grandmother. Bye, kids. Love you, mom. <laughs>